the Human Microbiome Project. It turns out that as human beings, we're not alone. We have roughly 10 times more bacteria on us and in us than we have of our own cells. In fact, the average human adult ha carries around between four to six pounds of bacteria on your skin and through all of your intestines, ears, nose, all the openings in your body. These bacteria don't just sit there, they actually carry out certain functions. The bacteria that sit on your skin actually help to protect you from other bacteria that could cause diseases. They kind of form a protective shield on you. The bacteria that's in your stomach and in your intestines, not only do they help protect from bacteria that could cause a disease, but they also now apparently help you in digesting your food and breaking down some of the drugs and things that you take. So a huge area of study right now is trying to identify all the different species of bacteria that are present in you. In fact, there are millions potentially of different bacteria in you and what they do and what their function is. And this is known as the Human Microbiome Project. One approach to this, at least one of the companies that I work with, is they're sequencing, they're doing meta-sequencing of the human microbiome. And what that means is, is they're taking samples of bacteria from people's guts, from their intestines, and then they're doing DNA sequencing. And by looking at the different sequences, they're trying to identify the different types of bacteria that are present in you. The idea that these bacteria play an important role in your health state and the homeostasis or the continuity of your health leads to some possible therapeutic ideas. And so you could see in the future that we may have bacteria pills, for example, that may help you with your diet because we'll put bacteria in that will either prevent you from absorbing the food you eat or breaking it down so fast that you get rid of it really quickly. Or we might create bacteria that help you with drug metabolism that may turn pro-drugs into active drugs in case your liver can't do it. So the future for microbiome work is just limitless. There's a lot to be done and it's a really exciting field. And if you want to learn more about this, visit us at our website, biotechprimer.com, or come and take a class with us and have one of our instructors explain to you all the interesting possibilities of the microbiome. Thank you.